Hey guys, so today we're making a Mat Dong San. So I made this earlier in the day and um, it was actually really tasty. Um, I just didn't want to record an intro again uh, on my camera because, on my phone, because it was like effort and it was early in the morning when I made this. So I hope you enjoy and you give this recipe a try. Bye. Ingredients you will need for this recipe is one cup of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, one egg, salt, vanilla extract, and baking powder to make the cookie dough recipe. So to start this recipe, you are going to put in, crack in one egg, Ooh, a clean crack, hopefully shellless. Ew, so gross. And you're going to add your sugar. So I'm going to be using vegetable oil. You can use any cooking oil. Um, forgot how much I needed. Oh, one tablespoon. So you're going to get one tablespoon of cooking oil. And you're going to put that in there. What else do I need? So we've added our egg, sugar. Um, we need how much salt? One quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So you're going to need 1.25 milliliters or a quarter teaspoon of salt. followed by vanilla oil. Um, now this recipe is not my own. I got it off of uh, YouTube, but I thought, why not make it? Um, if you wanna see the actual recipe and how it's properly done, I recommend going to uh, Mong Chi's uh, page, and I will, how much? One teaspoon, right? And one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract but go to her website and she'll have like she has all these amazing Korean recipes so now that we've got that done next thing you want to do is whisk it Ow. they hit the side so can I have So you want to get to like kind of this consistency if I remember correctly. You're going to want to uh, sift through obviously because I learned this a while back. If you're baking anything, sift through. So I have one cup, um, I measured it out, of all-purpose flour. Um, so you're going to sift it through. So, next we're going to add a half teaspoon of baking powder. And, fun fact, uh, these make, these, I, I think it's common knowledge, or it's there for a reason. Um, if you're measuring, so like, right now, I need a half teaspoon of baking powder. Um, what I like to do is, I like to tap it that way, and then... Uh, slide a little bit because it gives you almost an exact measurement and it makes life a whole hell of a lot easier so you're going to add that in and then just mix it till it starts combining and then you're going to knead it for one minute with your hands so I don't know what Mang Chi has but she's using like a very sturdy like spatula Kind of jelly of that. So we've got, so as you can see, we've almost finished mixing our dough, which is pretty good because 
we have to let sit. And I'll explain that in about maybe a few minutes. Let me just finish mixing this. Get out of there, pencil. You're not welcome. We love you, but you're not welcome. All right, so I'm gonna keep kneading this for a couple more minutes because it's not entirely smooth, which is something you want. There, it's nice and smooth. It's sticking to my hands, damn it. So you're going to wrap it into a log, I'd say maybe about this thick, however thick you want because you're rolling it out to the same width every time. Um, so you're going to wrap it. I, I hope I'm wrapping it tightly so it doesn't dry out also and you're just going to chill it for 40 minutes to an hour and in that case I'm going to go and buy an ingredient I'm missing oh. so far the recipe calls for a quarter cup of chopped peanuts now I don't know how it would taste with mixed nuts we didn't have mixed nuts at my which is weird for for this house um, I'm gonna add a little more than a quarter cup because I like peanuts so I'm just using like, what I'm going to do is, and I hope I do this right, is you're going to want to chop them roughly because if you have had dung sam before, there's peanuts on it. So this is not like, you. I believe you can like take out the nuts, but this is not generally a nut allergy friendly recipe. So our dough is now chilled and um, I put it in for maybe about an hour, not realizing the time, and I double wrapped it just because I can. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start pulling off sections about this big, maybe a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just say about roughly a quarter of the ball and just going to roll it out. Just keep rolling it out till it's about maybe a quarter of an inch. I want, you want it to be two inches, so I'm just going to cut down the middle here and use, I'm going to get this out, nah, that'll be fine, and cut roughly two inches per stick. I'm just going to um, pause for a moment and cut these in half. Alright, so the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to take two or three cups of oil. I'm using canola oil um, in a cast iron pan. Um, I'm going to set that to uh, s between four and six setting on my stove. And I'm going to put in roughly two cups of canola oil to uh, in order to fry these. So while we wait for our oil to heat up, so it should be heating up uh, soon, we're going to make our, uh, I guess, syrup. So for the syrup, you're going to want, it says rice um, syrup, but if you do not have rice syrup, uh, you can always use corn syrup. So you want to use a quarter cup of corn syrup. I'm using light corn syrup because I can. Hashtag deal with it. I had to clean my spatula. So then you're going to just scoop it all out if you can. To add 
two, um, let's see if I can get this properly, two tablespoons of both water and white sugar. So, and then two tablespoons of sugar. Now, you don't want to mix it or else it's going to crystallize. Um, so you're just going to boil this over low heat. Um, but, and then that's when you uh, kind of mix it. Well, you swirl it, I guess. So. I'm just let, I just let my sugar soak. I'm just gonna let it sit here until I'm ready to use it. All right, so the oil smells ready and whatnot. So we're just going to start putting them in see if it's okay so if you see that boiling I don't know if you see it but if it starts boiling it's ready so just drop them oh that's not smart these are starting to finish up so I'm going to start taking out the ones that are done And I'm using a uh, spider-like sieve. Uh, you want them to make sure they're not like overly golden brown and stuff, but because you're also going to bake these. So, let's straighten this. So as you can see, I burnt a few of them, like here are some of the darker ones, but that's okay. Shit happens. Um, so we're going to, uh, so we got to bake these, um, but first I want to get my sauce done. So the, the heat's off. Make sure, always make sure your heat's off when you're doing some form of cleanup. And then now... I'm going to mm. move the lock. I'm going to turn this on to low heat. So my syrup is going to so my syrup is going to be on low heat for a while. And don't mix it. So what you're going to do once that, so you're going to let this sit for um, eight to ten minutes on low heat like it is right now, and you're going to just let it boil till the uh, color changes. So while that's prepping, um, we're going to bake our cookies at 400, so we got to get that prepped. So preheat your oven for, to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So I had to make a second uh, batch um, because the first one I accidentally started swirling too early, so it started crystallizing um, around the ring. So. Right around here, um, if you see that white line, that's crystal. Those are crystals, which is something you don't want. So I just redid it, put on low. Um, maybe I'll start reboil that and also repurpose it for these as well. I don't know yet. All right. So it's reached 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once again, I don't know what it is Celsius um, or centigrade. So probably put this back on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to bake them for about eight to ten minutes. Um and the ones that um the ones that aren't crunchy are going to turn crunchy. Er. So set this for 
So set that for eight minutes and just wait for your sauce to boil like I am. Or syrup or whatever it is. The heat to like four, like around low. Um, make sure you have your spatula or something similar to it. And um, you're just gonna pour in your uh, syrup. Make sure everything gets coated and mixed in. All right. So now, um, and actually it's pretty cool, the sauce kind of started crystallizing, not crystallizing, uh, changing colors. Uh, so now what you're going to do is, um, I laid down parchment paper because this is a very sticky, sweet recipe. You're going to let this cool for a minute and then you're going to start um, like separating them so they don't all create one giant lump. And it kind of creates threads. <laughs> so keep that in mind. So here we are. We've we've done it. We made them. You just let them cool. So if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. Uh once again, I don't I didn't create this recipe. Um I got this off of a YouTube page as well. I got this off of YouTube. Um, they're cookies. They're very sweet. So be careful. Um, it's not pain. It's not. You can make these like allergy friendly if you want, but you'd have to like figure it out yourself. You don't have to have the peanuts, um, but it gives it kind of that like new taste. It gives it a refreshing taste, in my opinion, is what I'm thinking. Um, I'm just taking care of the peanuts. Um, so it was fairly easy to make. It took a little longer than I thought it would. Oh crap. Um, make sure your heat's off beforehand or else you gotta get that goodness to scrub off. And once they dry, we will present them. All right, so here's the finished project um, of the matang don. Um, I've been eating it for most day. It's more got cakey consistency, but I think what happened was it became like that because A, I didn't fry it long enough, or B, I didn't bake it long enough. So I would try to take care of that and not put on as much syrup, but also it's got... Uh, I doubled the salt on accident. Um, it's got a chewy consistency, consistency, but it's also still somewhat sweet. So that's how it turned out. This one's all nutty and stuff. It's very sweet. Be careful if you have fillings, because um, if it's the way it is with this one, it will. I feel like it will pull it out. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.